Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I'm going to talk about three things that will make you a more lovable leader. Please like, subscribe, share this amongst your teams. One of the biggest frustrations as a leader is working on an instant connection and then from that instant connection, continuing with that trust. Trust is hard and losing it is very easy. What happened to me when I didn't do these three things uh, is that I had people quit, scream, gossip, throw my name into the mud, and eventually force me to pretty much sell my first startup when I didn't want to, because I was sick of it. it. Took a lot of time for me, and I want to save you that time so you can do more impactful work sooner. So what are these three behaviors that I'm talking about? Behavior one is talking about bad news immediately. Tell people what's going on. The more you hide it, the more you try to skirt the truth, the less people trust you, especially when consequences come down. Two, kill gossip. The minute you hear somebody gossiping about someone else, as a leader, you need to step in and say, don't do that. We don't talk about other people that's not here. Because you can guarantee if they're talking gossip about someone else, they're talking about you. And if they do it in front of the wrong person or company, it can ruin your business relationships. Three, clear goals. You need to make sure that your goals are crystal clear to the people that are trying to get to them. Leading people takes time. And one of the things that they don't tell you about through leadership is that a lot of their time is making sure that the path ahead is clear. Make sure that the people that have chosen to follow you understand what the goals are and you do the work to make sure those things are crystal clear to them. Are these behaviors, concepts, theories, or practical to follow? I can say without a doubt that they are practical. When I didn't follow these things, I literally had my startup explode and more than once because people didn't trust what I was saying, even though I didn't technically lie to them. And that's an important concept to realize. Even though you don't lie, sometimes admitting the truth is a lie. How do these three things, telling bad news immediately, killing gossip, and having clear goals, affect how the team's relationship is with you? It affects your relationship because when people feel that you're telling the truth and that you have a direction for them to go, and you're focused on the work, not gossip, they're far more likely to trust you when things are good and work with you when things are bad. People like to feel trusted. You have to go beyond just your word. You have to keep the surprises to a minimum. And these three behaviors will help you do that. Do you need to be the boss to implement these three things? No. All three of these things can be handled by anyone from somebody on the line, or even an intern. It just takes courage. Sometimes you'll need to step up and say, I don't think this is the right thing to do. Sometimes you might say, can we please not talk about someone? And although it may cause you to feel weird because you're going against the tide, this behavior repeated often will show people that not only are you trustworthy, but you have your mind on the task at hand. And that's important. How do you do these three things? The lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Self-awareness. You have to be aware that trust isn't just not lying. But trust is where people feel comfortable with you. Trust is when people know that they're on the level. Trust is people knowing that you have a direction for them. So you gotta step out of the one-dimensional view of trust and get wide. How do you execute on this? Well, I find that a meeting at the beginning of the week is a perfect way to lay these things out. One in three, which is tell bad news immediately and have clear goals, can be handled with a early in the week meeting. No longer than 30 minutes that talks about what the bad news is and gives people a method to give their reactions and talk about them, and then also, what are the goals are for the week, month, and year? 
by going over these things and having them be like a broken record, people will again feel trusted because they know where they stand and what's happening. For the second one, that's more of an active thing. You have to keep your eye out. One, you have to say this is a rule of the office or this is what we do. We are the type of people that don't do this. And two, you have to be on guard. You can't be caught gossiping at all as a person because the minute you do, then your word's thrown out the window. And second, you need to be vigilant for people that do. You need to tell them that that's not something that we do around here. And eventually, if they don't follow, you need to let them go. Direction. This one is pretty simple directionally. You, you just need to communicate these things to your team. Sometimes it can be as fun as a big banner that's on the front of the wall. These are the three rules. These are my three commandments. Have fun with these. Make it a narrative. Tell a story. But get these ideas out to your team and let them know that you, as a person, stand by them. The moment they understand that this is something that's more of a credence to you rather than just an idea you just picked up and you just want to roll with for three days, the more likely they are to follow it. And then they'll pick it up. Because the best part of this is the minute that the team starts telling you bad news they see, you have far more ammunition to deal with threats other than just from the gut or what you imagine. So let's wrap this up. You wanna be aware of trust and trustedness. You wanna execute by having a great start of the week meeting that focuses on bad news and clear goals. And also wanna make sure that you cut gossip at the knees. And finally, make sure that you are telling the rest of your team and opening up about these things. Make this very visible so that they know this is the way we're going and we're the type of people who do this. If you found this topic of leadership interesting, take a look in the description box and you'll find a couple of books that have helped my understanding of how to become a better leader and some of the pitfalls that I've found across the way. Especially when it comes to leadership, this is not a one-way conversation. I'm not just talking to you. And this isn't just a two-way conversation. You're not just talking to me and I'm talking to you. This is actually a conversation amongst the tribe of leaders. That can't start without you injecting some opinion or idea in the comment box below. Talk about some of your own personal stories and help engage all of us into learning how to be a better leader from you. I'm not the only teacher, I'm also a student.